Good day, students. I am Miss Redery Narag, and I will be your teacher for this day. Good day, everyone. Imagine a plane without anything on it but a point. One will find it difficult to describe the location of the point on the plane. But if mark lines are drawn, the location of the point can be easily described, whether it is to the left or to the right, above or below a specific line. In this figure, can we now describe the location of point M? Yes. Based on the figure, point M is located to the right of the vertical line Y and above the horizontal line X. What about point R? It is located to the left of the vertical line Y and below the horizontal line X. Point O is neither to the left nor to the right of line Y. It is on line Y and it is also on line X. These lines serve as our guide as we describe the location of points. Before we formally proceed with our discussion, these are the questions for you to ponder on. Just like the mark lines which serve as our guide in describing the points, whom do you consider as your guide? Can you imagine life without someone who serves as your guide or who leads your life? Why? The idea of describing a point on the plane was systematized by the 17th century mathematician and philosopher René Descartes. This system is called the Rectangular Coordinate System. As a tribute to the greatness of Descartes' invention, succeeding mathematicians and mathematics historians called this system as Cartesian Coordinate System from his surname. It is also called Cartesian Coordinate Plane or the XY Plane. Today's lesson, this will be our ob objectives. First, to describe the Cartesian coordinate system by identifying its parts. Second, plot points on the Cartesian plane and identify the location of ordered pairs on the Cartesian plane. We have here a horizontal number line. If it intersect a vertical number line at point zero zero. A Cartesian plane is formed. The two number lines are called the coordinate axis. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis, while the vertical number line is called the y-axis. The intersection of the two axes at point zero zero is called the origin. The Cartesian plane is divided into four regions called quadrants. The upper right region is called the quadrant 1. The upper left region is the quadrant 2. The lower left region is the quadrant 3. And the lower right region is the quadrant 4. We have said that the origin is at the point 0, 0. So what do we call the point zero zero? Zero zero is called an ordered pair. Let's take this ordered pair x y. X here is called the x coordinate, while the second letter or number, which is y, is called the y coordinate. X coordinate is also called the abscissa, while the Y coordinate is called the ordinate. The rectangular coordinate system is composed 
of two perpendicular lines and has its basic parts. What about you? What compose your life? What are the things that you consider essential for your survival? Who plays a great part in your journey as a person? And how do you share your life with people around you? As an individual living in this world, there are people whom we consider essential in our life. They compose our life or they make our life meaningful. So how do we show importance to these people? We can show this by letting them feel love, our love, and our care for them. Especially in this pandemic, we should be ready to help people whenever, whenever they need us and always being nice and kind to them. Since we already know what an ordered pair is, we are now ready to plot points in the Cartesian plane. We have said that the ordered pair 0, 0 is found at the most middle part of the Cartesian plane because it is the origin. What if we are going to plot 3, 4, negative 4, 6, and negative 6, negative 2? So, how are we going to plot these points? In plotting points on the Cartesian plane, we need to take note of the following. First, we always start at the origin. Next, if the x-coordinate is positive, we move to the right. And if it is negative, we move to the left. Next, if the y-coordinate is positive, we move up, and if it is negative, we move down. Example, we have the ordered pair 3, 4. So we start at the origin. Then we determine if our x coordinate is positive or negative. Since 3 here is positive, that means we are going to move to the right. And next, since our y coordinate is also positive, that means we are going to move upward. For you to visualize that, let us have these examples. First, what if we are going to plot the point 3, 4? So first, we start at the origin. Next, we determine our x coordinate. So in here, our x coordinate is 3. Since 3 is positive, we therefore move 3 units to the right. So that is 1, 2, 3. And from that point, we move 4 units upward since our y coordinate is positive. 1, 2, 3, 4. The location of point B with the coordinates 3, 4 is in quadrant 1. Next, we plot the point C with the coordinates negative 4, 6. Our x coordinate is negative 4. We move 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And since our y coordinate is positive, we move 6 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is the location of point C. It is located on quadrant 2. Next, we plot point D. Our x coordinate is negative 6. So from the origin, we move 6 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And our y coordinate is also negative. We move two units downward. One, two. That is the location of point D in quadrant three. We also have negative seven. Let us look at the relationship between the sign of the coordinate with its location 
on the quadrants. If the coordinates are both positive, then it is located on quadrant 1. If the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive, negative and positive, it is located on quadrant 2. If the coordinates are both negative, it is located on quadrant 3. And if the coordinates are positive and negative, it is located on quadrant 4. That is, the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. Moreover, if the x coordinate is positive or negative and the y coordinate is zero, it is located on x axis. And if the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is positive or negative, it is located on y axis. And if the x and y coordinate are both zero, then it is located on the origin. So it's your turn. For your activity, you are going to determine the location of the given points. So first, negative 11, 24. 2, negative 3. 3, 2, 13, 0. And negative 4, negative 2. So I will give you 2 minutes to answer. Let us now answer. So, point L is located on quadrant 2. Point O is located on quadrant 4. Point V is located on quadrant 1. Point E is located on x-axis. And point S is located on quadrant 3. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. Keep safe and may God bless us all.